This is Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues, tongues shall consume away in their mouth. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, we who are ready to live salute you. All right, and um, I just want to go into this particular lesson. Okay. And um, I'm going to call it, um, Eve will be counted among the nations that have fought against Jerusalem. All right. Eve will be caught will be counted among the nations that have fought against Jerusalem, all right? And by Eve, I mean the so-called black woman, man. Okay. All right, now, as we can see, if you're paying any attention, we are things are coming to a head. The Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shah, is bringing this kingdom to a close, all right? All right, we're on the, uh, well, not we're, ain't no we, master, all right? Esau and his kingdom and these heathen nations are on the verge of nuclear war, all right? We are right at the cusps, at the cusp of World War Three, And as the scripture says, um, this shall be with burning a fuel of fire, okay? All right? And basically, we have our nations, our, our, our nation has enemies, okay? And one of the number one enemy um, towards our nation has been called black woman. She's actually the number two beside, uh, besides the... Besides Esau, Edom itself. All right. Okay. You have this uh, feminist movement where the so-called black man, a um, black woman, has basically been uh, made label her her man, her male counterpart, her own her enemy. All right. This is this is Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifty six. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground, for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter. All right. And now she's even advocating to murder her own children, man. Okay. Now you could argue whether it's the black woman or the so-called white woman that's committing the most abortion. The point is she's doing it, and she's doing it on a high level, man. Okay, she's basically sold out her nation, and you've had men, which I believe they murdered Kevin Samuels. Um, you had men like uh Tommy Sotomayor. Uh, Kevin Samuels, who basically got have gotten rich, exposing the so-called black woman and how she's been a detriment to her own people, man. All right, um, you know, how she's destroyed her own community, man. She's been the lapdog for Satan, man. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth a house, but the foolish plucketh it down with their hands. And by trying to destroy the so-called black man, the Israelite man, you're basically destroying your own house, man. Okay, because what you're going to realize is... <laughs> um, 
the so-called white man that gave you your power, he's going to uh, slaughter you in the end of this story, man. Um, okay. He's going to slaughter you at the end of the story, man. This is Isaiah. So like this is Jeremiah 4 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do, right? When 911 is shut off, you can't call the police because that's that's the so-called black man's number one shield, man. That 911, man. That so-called white man. I'm going to call Massa. Massa is not going to be able to help you from the judgment that's coming, man. Massa ain't going to be able to help himself. Okay. As the scripture says... Uh, I believe it's um, Isaiah, the 13th chapter. See, it's Isaiah, Jeremiah, the 13th chapter. He says he shall be the uh, as a chase roe, man. And it says all that's joined unto him shall be thrust through with the sword, you know. So you're going to be joined unto this devil, and you're going to be thrust through with the sword, man. Though thou closest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest Thy deck is deep with ornaments of gold, right? When it, when the so-called black woman is getting dressed up to go to the club, she's really going, she's getting dressed up for Satan, man. When she's getting dressed up to look good, she's not looking good for a black man, a, a Israelite man. She's getting dressed up for Esau, man, even if she don't know it. Because all the shit that they put on real Israelite, man, we don't like that shit. We don't like those big dumbass uh, lashes, man. Definitely don't like those dumbass blonde wig, man, or a BBL, man. All that is she's getting dressed up for Satan. This is how Satan wants her to look. Not us. Pookie and Ray Ray might like it, but their father is Satan as well. And they're going to perish with this bitch. Okay? Though thou rentest thy face with painting... In vain shall thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. Okay. Your lovers will despise you, man. Okay. All right. Your lovers, which is the so-called white man here in uh, Babylon the Great, they're going to seek your life in these last days, man. All right. They're going to do you like... Uh, uh, um, and it reminds me of that scene in a scary movie when you had that black woman all loud in the movie theater and everybody fucking stabbed her ass, man. But that's going to be you in these last days, man. Because you're everywhere but where you're supposed to be, man. Which is serving a uh, Israelite man, man. Okay. So you're going to be caught out there. You're not going to have any hedge of protection. All right. And then those simps that are... are, are shielding you those orbiters they're gonna be slaughtered man in these last days man you're not gonna have a um you're not gonna have let me get it This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. The daughters shall mourn having no helpers. You're not going to have all those, because these bitches, they got a nigga to pay bills, a nigga to fuck them, okay, a nigga to talk to, and okay, a nigga for this, a nigga for that, okay, got a gay friend, to go shopping with, you know, he might help her out with money. All, all this shit is going to be cut off, man. All that shit is going to be cut off in these last days. People are going to be seeking to save their own ass, man. All right. Okay. And all these judgments are going to become against you because you are an enemy of the Lord, man. 
Okay. You as scripture says, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. And you've done that. All right. Scripture says the head of every woman is the man, man. Okay. So you're going to be found with no power on your head, man. As the scripture says, a woman should uh, uh, have, have power on her head, man. All right. You're going to be found with no power on your head, man. No protection. And you're going to be found as a transgressor of the Lord. You're going to be actually a target of the Lord, man. You women that have taken men's children from them. Okay, you've used the Esau system against them. I'm one of them, you know. I'm one of them, you know. <clears throat> and I'm going to, and Lord willing, I'm, I'm going to get my revenge. I'm just waiting on the Lord, man. I'm going to get my payback. Hey, he who laughs, laughs, laughs best, man. You know. <clears throat> you're going to be found transgressors against the Lord himself, man. And you got a lot of shit, uh, uh. You, shit, one of my, my baby mothers, man, she she considers herself an Israelite woman, man. Okay? A lot of you women that, that shalom, shalom hoes, man, you're going to get put to death, man. As the scripture says, the harlots enter to the kingdom before your ass, man. All right? But you're going to be counted on that shit list right with your daddy, Okay, you exercise all the powers of the beast in this kingdom, man. Every perk, everything this devil gave you, you ate it all up, man. You didn't leave a crumb. Feminism, man. Women empowerment, all this bullshit, man. Okay. Has, has made you an enemy of the Lord and, and, and an enemy of the nation, man. Okay. You know, you know, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of what Mordecai told Esther, man. Mordecai told Esther, man, if you don't help with this, when Haman was trying to uh, slaughter our nation, man, you know, which Haman was an Edomite, man, you know, Mordecai told Esther, if you don't, if you don't do nothing about this, Okay, then salvation is going to be risen up from somewhere else in our kingdom, and you're going to be kind of the enemy, man. You know, I don't know where that's exactly yet, but you could read that in the story of Esther, man. You're going to be counted as an enemy. All right. So if Esther hadn't 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 made a move, the Lord could have raised up somebody else, man, to get us out there, jam, and they would have been looking at Queen Esther as a fucking enemy, man. And they'd have been looking to take her damn head, man. You know, because I imagine after, um, I believe that was Xerxes, correct me if I'm wrong, um, that she was married to, uh, after he was deposed, she probably went back to her people for all I know. You know, because he was, he, was, he was out of there, man. You know, because she despised, she because she despised that position anyway, man. Esther despised that uh, position. Scripture says that I created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Esther was a righteous woman. She despised being in a lofty position, man. Married to a heathen, got to sleep with a fucking heathen, man. She despised that, that position, man. But she was put there in order to uh, get to deliver Israel out of that jam, man. You know? It was meant to go the way it went in the story, man. You know? But you women, you're going to be kind of, you, 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 you two-third nigger women, man. Spigger women and, 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 and Uncle Tomahawk hoes, man. So-called Latinos, uh, 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 Negroes, Latinos, and Native American women, man. That love the so-called white man and believe in this system and have used it against your men, man. You're going to be a, a, a target of the Lord in these last days, man. You're going to be counted as an enemy of the Lord, man. Okay? 
uh, um, uh, fuck. Because basically, what you're going to find out, because what do they say is in the book of Revelation, they say, who can make war with the beast, man? That's what this so-called black woman believes, man. That's what this world believes, that this beast, man, can't be defeated, that Esau ain't going to never go down, man. It says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. No, this devil's getting ready to go down, and you right with him, man. Scripture says, uh, um... He that is helping and he that is uh, he that helps and he that is helping shall fall and they shall both fail together. It says, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. All right, they that took, take hold of his side do find death. You have taken hold on the side of this devil and you're going to find death, man, in these last days. Um, this is uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh power of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with noise and with storm and tempest. And, and you definitely seeing a lot of that right now, man, in, in various places, man. And the flame of devouring fire and the multitude of the nations that fought against Ariel, even all that fought against her and her munition and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. It shall even be as when an hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, and he awaketh, and his soul is empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, and behold, he is faint, and his soul hath appetite. So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you think you're gonna um, continue putting us on child support and using the system against us. No, you're going to, the Lord's going to snatch that out right out of your hand, man. He's going to smack that sandwich right out of your fucking mouth, man. And you're going to fall on the ground. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, All right, you're going to fall on the ground, man. You're going to fall right with your daddy, man. This is Isaiah 32. And in and, and 9, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Okay, meaning uh, mourning, man. Scripture says, tell the women to take up a, 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 a mourning, man, to call the... the, 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 the the ones that are skillful at mourning, man, and lamentation. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. You bitches gonna cry for all this dainty shit that you've been getting here in Babylon the Great because it ain't gonna be here no more, okay? And upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. Because the palaces... Right, but that's about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, the Lord is going to take all that away from you, man. All right. All right. This is um This is Isaiah three and sixteen. 
Moreover, Yahweh power saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet, right? You're haughty. You're fucking proud, man. And you got your, your, your head to the clouds, man. Therefore, Yahweh power will smite with a scab the crown of the heads of the daughters of Zion. He's going to take away your hair, man, like Jada Pinkett, man. And that's why she's all fuck, fucking pissed, and man, because the Lord took her hair, man, because she's a demon, man, a piece of shit. So uh, is her husband, by the way. And Yahweh will discover their secret parts. And that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments and, the, and about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon. You're going to take away everything you got, man. You Lizzo's, you're going to starve to death. A fat, a fat bitch like that is going to starve to death in a matter of hours, man. Not even days. A matter of hours, she's going to starve to death, man. Her big ass, man. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, right? You know, when this when the scandemic lockdown first started, man, you bitches couldn't get any of that, man. You was fucking lamenting, man. The bonnets and the ornaments of of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel, and the man mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of well-set hair, baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. And that's what we're seeing right now, man. A lot of our women are out of shape, man. And they stink, man. Because they're going from cock to cock, man. All right. The Lord's going to take away all that, man. The men shall fall by the sword and thy mighty in the worst. All those simps, man, that, that are protecting you, man. They're going to they're gonna be dead, man. Those cops that you called that, that came to help you, they're going to be dead. Those niggas on the block. Man, why are you talking to that woman like that? Hey, that, hey Debo, that's a female ass, niggas. They're going to be dead, man. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. You're going to sit your ass down, man. Okay. You're going to sit your ass down, man. In the dust. All right. Okay. This is Jeremiah 4 and 31. For I've heard a voice of a woman in travail, and the anguish of her that that bringeth forth her first child. Now, this is mainly talking about the nations, but it's using uh, 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 a, f a feminine analogy, okay? The voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself that spreadeth, for, spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. And one thing you'll learn about the nigger woman is she loves murderers, man. She loves murderers, man. She loves the so-called white man, which is the number one murderer, man, on earth, man. Okay? And she, and she you know, she'll, she'll skip over a doctor or a lawyer or a hard-working, construction-working man for a Pookie and a Ray Ray, a nigga that's on the block shooting other niggas, man. That, that's that's what she wants, man. She loves death. So guess what? The Lord's going to give you what you what you want, man. He's going to give you what you want, man. Since you love it so much, you're going to get death, man. Let me get one more, and I'm going to end it on that note. Got to end it here. Uh, Got to end it here. Got to rape them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you 
you know, because you're going to see this, man. This is uh, Micah 7 and 8, right? And, and, and all the nations that rejoice against nation, the nation of Israel, including you black women, because you you have rejoiced against our, us, man. You rejoice at, at our fall, man. All right. Okay. You know, I might as well start at six. This is Micah 7 and 6. For the son dishonor of the father, right? And you women, you raise... You raise women, you raise sons and daughters that uh, to to hate their fathers. You talk shit about their fathers, man. You know you 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 you're, you're, you're uh, raising monsters, man. You know the daughter rises up against the mother, right? Because there's no structure in these houses, man. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and in law, and a man's enemies are the men of his own house, right? And the women, man. Therefore, I will look unto Yahweh. I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me. So that's what we're going to do, man. All right. Where did Paul say? Hence, henceforth, there is a crown laid up for me, whom the righteous judge shall give me in that day, man. We're waiting for the righteous judge, man. We, we're not going to be standing in front of Esau fighting child support, man. He's going to be destroyed, man. His ass is going to be nuke food. And the ones that's, re that's left of his ass is going to be put in chains and thrown in a fucking hole, man. And after many days, we're going to visit him, pull his ass out, and beat the living shit out of his ass, man. Rejoice not against me, O oh my enemies, when I fall. Right? And you rejoice that I fall. You so-called black women... Right along with the rest of these nations, you rejoice at the fall of the Israelite man, man. I shall arise when I sit in darkness. Yahweh shall be a light unto me, man. So the Lord is is bringing us into the light right now. He's he's putting it, he's putting his men together, man. As the scripture says, I will set them in order before thine eyes, man. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh. Because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause. So we're bearing the indignation of the Lord, man. We have Yahweh Shai as our mediator, and he's pleading our cause to reconcile us back to the Father and bring us back into our pristine state, man. Matter of fact, even a greater state than before, because we're not going to be able to sin. We're going to be made gods now on earth. And execute, yeah, vocab. Yes, vocab. We're going to be gods on earth. We are gods on earth, all right, nigga? And execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Right? So we're being brought forth to the light right now. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. And you so called black women, uh, all you women of the tribes, man, that have that have made yourself an enemy of the nation by making yourself the enemy of your men. Okay. You're gonna see it. And it's going to hurt. It says, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is Yahweh thy power? Right. We're snapping your neck, you know, calling 911, calling Pookie and Ray Ray. None of that. You, you're going to see us brought into our glory, created as gods, man. Mine eyes shall behold her now. Now shall she be trodden down like the mire of the streets. You're going to be stomped out like the piece, like the pinche cockroach you are, man. Like the piece of shit that you are, man. Okay. All right. So you so-called black women, you will be counted in these last days. And a lot of you are going to have head wraps on saying shalom, man. Thinking you're an Israelite woman, man. Thinking you're a, a daughter of Sarah, thinking the book of Proverbs, uh, who can find a virtuous woman, thinking that's, that's talking about you. You're going to get your ass stomped out and you and cast into outer darkness, man, where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. I was going to destroy the shit out of you, man. Call all you like your house, Shai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Akin, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. Shalom, woman, a Bible, ball.